you know, when you want to go do theater, where do you go? And people think Chicago, and they think DC, and they think Pittsburgh, and they think LA for film. But right now, a lot of people in the New York theater community do not yet think Miami, and given the talent that's down here, we thought, well, that's a mistake, because they should. And we know that that's something that Scott is working to bring down here, and we thought, you know what, we can help be a bridge between these two communities, because this is our home, and that's our home. And so the first thing that we wanted to do was to make sure that we were an artist-driven theater company, kind of like the group theater used to be back in the 30s, kind of like what Shakespeare used to do, where there's actor managers, a bunch of actors getting together with a ton of respect for the audiences and saying, what stories do we need to tell? And if we don't need to tell it, we're not going to ask audiences to waste their time or to waste their money. So instead of trying to produce full seasons that we could not do, we're fine with doing something, you know, maybe every couple of years, but where we want the audience to trust that if we come to do something, it's because we really want to share this experience up close, personally, as storytellers, with the audience. And the first thing that we had happened was we had conversations with some of our amazing friends. We had a uh, Titus Burgess, who you're going to see in a second, who's an incredible, you know, Broadway legend, and he's incredible. And we had a bunch of conversations where he would talk about, man, if I could do the, you know, work that was worth it, that he would leave. New York in order to do something, and we had a lot of daydreams about what it would be like if he could play the witch. And then Ariel Jacobs and Natalie and I had a conversation where she was like, ah, you know what, The Baker's Wife is a huge dream role of mine, and Titus was always telling me separately for years, you should really be the baker, that's a great role. And then we were like, wait a minute, that's a cast, that's a good cast. And so when we came down to Scott, we had that idea. And our main purpose, our kind of vision of Dreamcatchers, that the stories that is, as the people who are up here telling them, that the stories that we choose to tell and how we choose to tell them, it really matters. And that is the main message of Into the Woods, that the things you do matter, the way that you go along, the path of your life matters and things have consequences and people hear what you say. So it was a no-brainer for us to do this. And the last piece of the puzzle for us was that I wanted our incredible director, Justin Fortunato, to come on board. So a year and a half ago, when he said yes, then I said, now we can make this happen. We went to Scott, he agreed.